seen you for a while. It's now June already, uh, and it's a really hot day out there. Um, 30 degrees or something, so I'm in the house. Thought I'm gonna do some yarn dyeing with five skeins of my soya bean yarn. Um, so I have this really wonderful friend that brings me onions, Teresa. She and her husband grow these onions at uh, Home and Marsh. Uh, and uh, I am the lucky one. I always get really these wonderful, uh, how many bags? 25 pounds of onions, red onions and white onions. Um, thank you, Teresa. So what I've done is I've taken the peeled, the skin off, all of them into a pot, cooked it up and now I'm just letting um, it cool a little bit. But I look at this, I have this really, really dark, dark, dark um, purple, reddish color from these onions. And um, I've already soaked my yarn in here, which you can see. Let me just give you a second. It's in here. So this is a soybean yarn. I have five skeins in here. Soaked it up and um, so that the sizing goes up and the fibers will open up. And here you see I have three of these big jars here. So what I'm actually going to do is, <laughs> this is a little bit nerve wracking because it's a one time shot. Um, decided I'm going to do five skeins because I want to have enough so that I can um, put, um, make enough to make a, basically a, a cardigan or something or whatever. So let's see how this will turn out. I'm going to pour some of this so I don't have a lot of water in here right now and I'm I'm just hoping this will work out so I'm just gonna pour kind of yarn this kind of all around a little bit uneven I don't know we'll see I'll let this sit a little bit see if this will take a certain color strength on at a certain areas. And I'm hoping this is gonna go really deep purple, or not deep purple, but just uh, deep red. I'm not sure if it will. I already put some vinegar in there. This is the kind of, normally I use acid dye, but this is, the soybean is a plant fiber. It uh, will not take the acid dye um, coloring. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's see how this will go. I kind of wanted it to have a tone on tone, but and I have no idea how this even will set. I can show you that later on. like right now there's still some light stuff I'm gonna poke it a bit and see oh yeah look at it they started taking in a little bit darker colors here in certain areas where I sprinkled it first I think actually I don't need another jar because this is still soaking up. So I'm going to be letting this sit actually just to wait. Actually, oh no, you know what? Look at this underneath. So what I will have to do is I have to turn this over because you see this underneath there is still white. So the top I'm going to let this soak. So some areas is, yeah, you see this? It's white underneath. So this is all kind of natural dye, no? Because it's just onions, onion for onion color. Hoping it would be darker, but 
be too much water in it. I'm just gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna flip it all over, drain the water out, I guess, and do that on the reverse. So some areas it will be more, you can actually see here. See that, it's darker here compared to here. So we'll see how that will turn out and then I'll flip it and um, flip it over and then just kind of do the same as I just did now and then at the end I will show you how these skeins will turn out but it's really just all um, um, natural dye just a whole bunch of onion skins and um, soya bean uh, yarn that I have bought that I thought okay would be kind of a natural something different than animal fibers and that so we'll see anyways until I do the next round I'll hope you have a wonderful day enjoy the weather enjoy the sunshine the heat I love it but anyways we'll talk to you soon stay well bye